Steve? We'll tear that fog wide open. Come on, Dick, faster. She's open all the way now, you speed demon. You want to capsize? Oh, what are you so afraid of? What do you care where you're going? Come on, let's get swallowed up in the fog. Then they'll never be able to find us. Come on, Dick, faster. All right, sir. You asked for it. What was it, Dick? We almost did a boy. Fog is so thick. We could have been smashed to kingdom come. I wish we had. Oh, I wish to heaven we had. We'd have got a kick out of that anyway. Oh, you're upset, Claire. Come on, let's go back. Back? Back to the yacht club? Those chattering monkeys and that penny music? Oh, no, Dick. I hate it. I hate it all. You'll be late for that dance you promised. What's his name? That egg. He slobbers. Life slobbers, Richard. It's too pallid. All that silly squirm they call dancing. And sweet cocktails, moist hand-holding. Those nauseous stories they've simply got to tell you behind the lilac bush. How oh, it makes me ill. I'm fed up, Dickie. Flat as a highball that's been standing all night. And yet, where do I go from here? Well, I'm glad you're beginning to see oh, things. Oh, sure, that... sure. You can say that, a man... But look at me. I'm not ready to settle down and wither away just yet. Life still owes me a few thrills. I've got a few experiences coming to me. I have. I have. Dicky, I'm not a kid any longer. And they've got to be wilder than a drinking party or being mauled behind a lilac bush. They've got to hurt. Well, Claire, darling, you, you don't know what you're saying. Oh, you're... don't I? Look, I'll tell you what I need. If this sticky, dull summer will ever end, the shooting season ever come around again... And maybe I'll feel more like myself. Yes, yes, don't look like that. I'd feel like a million dollars right now. With the weight of a gun in my hands and a cold old wind blowing and the ducks flying. Dick, there's a kick left there. A bang, a kick, and a duck. Ducks and rabbits. Some wild adventure for a grown woman. Oh, Dicky, I could cry like a baby. Beth got away from me, too. That's pallid, too. Oh, it's got to be bigger than ducks. It's, it's got to be wilder than cottontails. I want it to kick. And that's that. Come on. Let's get back now, Claire. You're shivering. I told you to get your wrap. You're, you're catching your death. Hey, what's that boat coming this way? Sneak through the fog like a smuggler. Hmm. Hard to tell. Probably just a Coast Guard cutter. Oh, let's hail him. I've always wondered what the Coast Guard boys were like. Must be nice if they're anything like the movies. Oh, you're incurable, Claire. One minute you're sick of life, and the next you're a gog over a uniform. Oh, Richard, you're so thick. Let me fight it out my own way. Look, here they come. Ahoy there! Lower your mizzens and bring her about! Ahoy! Ahoy! Are you a Coast Guard boat? That's us, lady. What are you doing out this time of night? Oh, we're just smuggling some Chinese into the country. You don't mind, do you? Well, you can't be hiding many of them in that rowboat. Oh, don't insult the shamrock. She's the fastest outboard in these waters. Say, is there, is there anything stirring? Any pirates to catch? No, there ain't any pirates, but there's a couple of seals. Seals? You mean honest-to-goodness fur coats around here? Sure. There's the season for them to be here. They're only strays. We saw them last night, too. Two cows and a bull. They're over on the rocks about a hundred yards from here. Right over there in Crandall's Cove. You can see them if it wasn't for the fog. Seals. Oh, Dick, let's go see them. Say, thanks, fellas. That's all right, lady. Come around again some night. Maybe we'll have some pirates for you. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Oh, don't be such a clod, Dickie. Say something. You're going to see your seals, and then you're going right back to the club. This is no night for boating. Oh, this is a night for anything. Come on, pull right into the cove here, Dick, and cut the motor. They must be around here somewhere. Well, I'll be done. Look. Look down the rocks. Yeah. That's them, all right. They aren't they big, though? Beautifully shiny. Oh, what you will see when you haven't got your gun along. That isn't so luck. Luck is right. 
If you shot one of them, you'd have the law on you quick enough. Probably pay a fat fine, too. Hey, look, there goes the big one. Oh, we've scared them, Dick. Oh, and now the others have followed him. Oh, what a shame. Do you suppose they'll come back? Well, you, you'd better ask them. Dickie, do you love me, old fuss budget? Oh, stop it, you. You adore me, huh? Why, sure. Then take me back to the merry-go-round and we'll say goodnight to those idiots. Later, we'll come back and bring the guns. Lying out there with his big mouth open to the sky. Hey, Captain. Did you hear that motorboat? You think it's a Coast Guard prowling around a bit? Why, you poor fool, there ain't a sailor living could find us here. I know every shoal in this bay. Anyone who tries to get near us is bound to get caught on a nasty sandbar. Besides, that's just a little outboard. Some summer people, I guess. Hey, Captain, how come you're dressed up? You going someplace? Sure, I'm going ashore. We're as snug here in this cove as we'd be 20 miles out to sea. I got to see the agent about getting this stuff ashore. And I'll spend a little time with my wife. Ain't seen the old lady in four months. You're going to leave us here alone? What's the matter, Lindsay? You scared of the dark? It's four of you here. Do you think I'd leave a $10,000 worth of cargo if I didn't think it was safe? I ain't worried about you and the crew. You'll be all right. The Coast Guard does happen to come alongside. You're a sword fishing outfit. You've got irons and lines on the deck to prove it. Mm, sure, we'll be all right. You rowing ashore in the dinghy? Yeah. Before you turn in, see that your crew is asleep. Especially that loony black boy. Yes, sir. Anyways, I've got the cargo locked up safe. I don't trust any of you. Well, good night, Lindsay. Don't let these sharks get you. Good night, sir. Looks like they're all asleep. Hey, what's that? Oh, excuse me, Captain. Why, you dirty scum. What do you mean, sneaking up on me that way? Oh, excuse me, Captain. I didn't see you. And I guess you didn't see me on account of I don't make noise out my shoes. And you're so filthy black, even the devil couldn't see you on a night like this. Come here. Give me a hand over the side. I'm going ashore. Aye, aye, sir. Good night, Captain. Good night. Well, there he goes. Just like a ghost did a night. I must look like a ghost, too. Can't nobody see me. <laughs> nobody. I'm safe. Can't nobody harm me now. Boy, that water sure looks pretty. Look at them mackerel. See, why they streak away like that? Must be a shark around. But I've never seen a shark swim like that before. Boy, give me that iron. I'm going to catch me a big fish. There he is. Mm. I got him. I got him. He must be a powerful big fella. Hey, now, you black one, what do you wish to do? Give me your hand devil? here. I got some. Hey, block you two. We need help. What do you want? What do you got there? I don't know yet, but it's awful big. Thunder uh, hat. That's no fish. Hey, ain't you smart now? Sure it ain't no fish. <laughs> you seal. expect a great prize, eh? That seal is no good to you. You thought you had fetched up a fine fur coat, yes? <laughs> that is no good. It is a hair seal. A cat would have been better. <laughs> you can leave it overboard yourself. You made me lose enough sleep already with your foolishness. Come on, Block. We go back to sleep. What do they know? They think I don't know the difference between one kind of seal and another kind of seal. They think I stick this critter for the get a fur coat? They think that's why I killed him? Why? Why did I kill him? I don't know. Why do I do such crazy things? What for ain't I like other folks? Tell me that. 
What for? I'm always scared. Scared to tell my right name. I ain't never done nothing wrong, but I always got to run away. I got to hide. I get a new name. I hide on a new boat. I goes all over this world. What's wrong with you, black boy? Why can't you forget that crazy old conjure woman with the prophesying? Oh, here comes that yellow conjure woman again. Get away, you demon. I don't want to think of you no more. I just want peace. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to go back and see it all again. I don't want to. Silence, black boy. Can't you see she's trans? Silence, you all, and wait. That's my two dollars there. For heaven's sake, why don't you tell me where my brother Jack was too? Heaven, you don't keep quiet. Zara the Great will tell you nothing. Yes, sir. I'll be quiet. Zara, speak. I'll vision. I'll vision the colored boy about 18 years old. Got on a brown coat and a pair of striped gray pants. That's Jasper. That's him. Yes, sir. Silence. I vision him coming along through Jim Bailey's alleyway, I do. Right here in the midst of this magic crystal, I vision him through his life. Coming along out of Bailey's alley. Slumping soft in the shadow behind the heliotrope barroom. I vision him coming towards the door. I vision him coming in the door. I vision that that very door behind your back. There, now! Oh, have mercy on us! Right there. I was coming along into here to ask the conjure woman where you was. Jaffron! Jaffron, you came! She said you was coming and you came! She's a conjure woman for sure. She can see what's gonna happen. Zara knows all. What's that? Come on out of here. We're going home. Yeah, take me home, Jaffron. That country woman must be a devil. Oh, sure, child. You come along with me. Isaiah. I'm getting out of here. Some evil is in here. Isaiah. Draw on to Zara and come here. Jaffron! Jaffron's gone. I don't see him no more. I visions only of Isaiah. Draw on Isaiah. I says it twice, and I says it thrice. Come here. Yes, sir. Isaiah, you hold your breath and you pray to God and the devil. And you stare where your eyes is. I vision the man grown. I vision this man by name Isaiah. Look at this man smile and show his fine white teeth. Never I lay my eyes on such a man. His muscles stay the same like a stallion racehorse. And his skin, it lay over them as smooth and shiny as silk and satin. That's me! You are there. Keep your eyes steady on the crystal. And I vision, here before my eyes, I vision. In the name of heaven, what does old Zara vision? Collecting and cogulating out of the witch mist. What I see. I ain't never seen a gal like this with diamonds in her ears. Hair the color of a ripe field cone and black eyelashes long and thick as rope. And why is this here red rose blossom gone and drop its petals on the dim cheek? Turn around a mark more white gal. But you glad to see that. But I be wilt. This ain't winter in the mountains now, but the land stays. Sure, now you got fooled, old Zara. That ain't no snow bank up no. That's a gal's throat. Then there's two shoulders and two arms. But how come all this cloud of mist and shimmer? Leh, that ain't nothing but a poor, cheap little dance dress. Cost a thousand dollars a yard in the quality store. But how come you undertake to dance, white gal? On two ankles you can't hardly see through a microscope. And two feet get lost on the broad of a man's hand. And waffle you smile with your rubber red lips. And waffle you cut your breath. 
Bruce and Waffo, you laugh and stroke the barrel of that sleek, shiny game shooting gun you got there with the smoke drooling out its mouth. Let me out. I gotta get away. I gotta get away. All right, young fellow, you're next. What's your name? My name, uh, my name is, uh, James. James Andrew Alger. What's the matter? Don't know your own name, or are you dodging the cop? Oh, no, sir. I ain't never been in jail. I ain't never been in no trouble. Well, don't think you can dodge the law by going to sea. They catch up with you sooner or later. Here's your papers. Ship the Cormorant. Sailing from Boston on January 10th. Two points in Arctic. Name of applicant James Andrew Alger. James Andrew Alger. James Andrew Alger. James Andrew Alger. Oh, James. Hey, sweetheart, wake up. Uh, what's the matter? My Jim Andy, a black devil, don't tell me you don't know we're going ashore today. Yes. We'll be in port in an hour. Get up and get to work, or the captain won't let you go ashore. I, I don't care. I don't want to go ashore anyway. Man, are you crazy? Four months in the Arctic looking at nothing but ice and seals in this stinking boat, and you don't want to go ashore in Seattle? <laughs> Why, it's the finest town in the world for a sailor. Plenty of music, plenty of liquor, and the girls. Wow. Well, I just think I'll stay on board. I don't care for gals, no how. Don't care for girls? What's the matter? You scared of them? I ain't scared of nobody or nothing, see? Well, I was only kidding, but I just can't understand why you don't want to get out of this rat hole and feel some land under your feet, that's all. Uh, you ain't in any trouble, are you? No, no! I tell you, why don't you leave me alone? Okay, okay, take it easy. Well, let me tell you, the captain won't understand it neither. He won't take your next trip if he thinks you want it by the cops. You better go ashore anyways. It'll do you good. Maybe you don't like the girls with... Wait till you see these with those shimmery dance dresses and the little ankles and the black eyelashes long and thick as ropes. Oh. How come you undertake to dance, white gal? On ankles you can't hardly see through a microscope. And waffle oh, you smile with your robber red lips. And waffle oh, you stroke the bell of that sleek, shiny game shooting gun. And Wapo, you suck your red lips like they was wild bee honey. And you look at pretty Isaiah lying there on the ground. But Isaiah, child, how come you all so paltry lazy? Wapo, your big teeth shining to the sky. How come all this here bullet blood running out of your skull paint all over the ground? Dead. Dead. Yeah. Ah, stop it! I can't stand it no more. I'm going ashore. I don't care no more what happens. I don't care if I get killed. I'm going ashore. <laughs> 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 You can certainly pour it down. Hey, Marky, yeah? got my friend here another special. And another one for me, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There we are. Now, there's to you, Jim Andy. You're a white black man, that's what you are. And you're my friend, see? Sure, you're my friend. We're going to have another drink. Hey, huh? well, wait a minute. Well, we ain't finished these yet. Oh, yeah? come on. <laughs> you leave away. Hey, Jim, look. What's the matter? Look at that gal. <laughs> Ain't she a knockout? Uh, what gal? Over there by the door. Hey, I think she's looking over here. Yellow hair. Skin like a snowbank. And that shiny dress. What's she looking at? What she smiling at with that red mouth? Hey, she's coming over here. Oh, boy. What's she laughing at? Make her stop laughing. Don't let her come near me. Don't let her. And Waffle, you smile with your right red lips. 
And why for you laugh when you see pretty Isaiah lying there on the ground? <laughs> yes, sir. Get away from me, white gal. Don't come near me. Don't you come near me. <laughs> Now, boys, how about buying me a drink? Well, boy, you laugh, white gal. Your throat like a snowbank up north. I'll say it, child, how come all this bullet blood running out of your skull paid all over the ground? Why, for you catch a breath, white gal? Come on, boys, just a little drink for a thirsty gal. Stop oh, smiling. About it. Stop it. I can't stand it. Get out of here. Get out. Hey, hey, Jim. Jim in. Hey, why did why did you got to? What happened? Why what happened, huh? I thought he was gonna kill me. He looked like crazy. Just looked at me and ran. Huh. <laughs> scared me to death. Well, oh, come on, sailor, buy me that drink. I need it. Sure, baby. Come on. Buy him all What's your name, boy? Algernon Jones. Algernon what, Jones? Shipping on a Danish princess to Australia, sign right here. Why, Bo, you so paltry lazy, Isaiah Charles. Name, please. My name's Barrymore Wills. Going to Nova Scotia through the canal. I vision this man, my name Isaiah. What is your name, sailor? Uh, name's Wilson Barry. Isaiah Charles. Draw down to Zara and come here. No, no, no. I won't come back. I can't come back. I gotta get away. What's the matter? Are you scared of girls? What you laughing at, white gal? White gal with diamonds in her ears, smiling with a rock red mouth. What's your name, boy? Wilbur Dixon's my name, Captain. Why, you're so filthy black, even the devil couldn't see you on a night like this. Why, for your big mouth open to the sky? It's only a half seed. A cat would have been better. <laughs> Only a hair seal. Why did I kill him? I don't know. Oh, look at that moon. The fog is going. It's getting clear. Wonder where Mr. Seal's wife is. Bet she'll come looking for him. Well, by God, talk about the devil. Here she is. He's got two wives, that old seal. Look at him cruising around hand in hand. Mistrusting around, speculating around to find out where the old man done going to send it into heaven to. Look how pretty they is, swimming around. They shine like they got oil on their back. That water sure looks good. Moon on it, make it look like diamonds. Them seals sure having fun streaking through the water. Boy, I'd like to be in there swimming around with them. Cool water all over me. Well, why not? Everybody's sleeping. Doggone, why not? I see us going swim. Going for a little swim. Wait for me, old seals. I'm coming down right away. Oh, oh that bullet blood running out of your skull all over the ground. <laughs> I say, fear. Nothing can touch me in this water. Not even you, old yellow woman. Bullet blood all over the ground. Well, that proves it. Ground. Ain't no ground around here. Ain't nothing but water. Nice, cool water. Where them pretty seals went to? Uh oh, I sees you. You all seek you such rip snort and feed as women. Well, you look out for this yellow colored boy. He's gonna tweak your tails. Uh. Boy, this water feels good. I'm glad I've been a good boy and ain't done no evil. I'm glad, oh Lord, I'm glad. I done been resurrected, and this seven to life. Where you all done gone to, my pretty? My angel lovelies? Don't be scared. I wouldn't hurt you. Come here, you pretty thing. Come, play with Isaiah. Don't run up them rocks. Come on down here in the water. Come on down, my beauty. Don't be mad at me now. I didn't mean to stick you, old man. Why you sit up on them rocks? The water is so nice and cool. Come on in now. We'll dive through these big waves. Break them right in two. Ain't you coming in? There, there. Don't be scared. I'll come up and get you. Boy, these rocks are sharp. 
there, the hammer pretty. Wait for Isaiah. Rocks. Rocks is brown. Oh, I'm sure I got a big one, Dickie. I saw him kick. Oh, I could dance. But how come you undertake to dance, white gal? And why for that bullet blood running out all over the ground? Oh, isn't this marvelous, Dickie? Why don't you give me a glad look, you fish, you? Smile. And why for you smile with your ripe red lips? And Waffle, you laugh and stroke the bell of that sleek, shiny game shooting gun with the smoke drooling out its mouth. Oh, I feel like a million dollars, Dick. This is the life. Come on, let's go after the others. And how come you all so paltry lazy, Isaiah Child? Laying there with your big mouth open to the sky. You have just heard the Columbia Workshop's production of Prophecy, adapted by Sylvia Marks from the short story Sooth by Wilbur Daniel Steele. The original score was written and conducted by Bernard Herman, and the entire production was under the direction of William N. Robeson. Miss Marks, the adapter of tonight's broadcast, is a student in the course in radio writing under Mr. Robeson's instruction in the Division of General Education at New York University. Next week, the Columbia Workshop will present an original play written in the same course, a modern fantasy entitled Now Playing Tomorrow by Arthur Lawrence. Mr. Robeson will direct the production. Clark speaking. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>